Hello my loves, what's up, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a new pick a card reading. This one is all about what is happening next in your love life, especially if you guys are single. This is the pick a card for you because we're gonna find out what is coming next. We're gonna find out who this person is, what your guys' relationship is gonna be like. We're gonna try to get as much information as possible. So if you guys are new to pick a card readings, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of how it works. So over here we have pile number one, two, three, four, and five. So you can take a moment, pause the video if you'd like to find the pile that you are the most drawn towards. Then once you're done choosing your pile, you can then scroll down to the comment box or the description box to find the timestamp that's linked to your specific card. And then you guys can skip ahead and watch your personal reading all about what's coming next in your love life. If you guys like to choose with crystals below these cards, let's pop some crystals on there. Right, meow. All right, my love. So here are our crystal options. Over here we have some clear quartz, rose quartz, aqua aura quartz. Then we have some aventurine and then we have some citrine. So take a moment, pause the video if you'd like to find the pile that you are the most drawn towards. Then once you're done choosing, you can go ahead and scroll down to the comment box or the description box to find the timestamp that's linked to your specific card. And then you guys can skip ahead and watch your personal reading for what's going on and what's gonna happen next in your love life. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, so group number one, if you guys chose this pile, this is gonna be your reading for what's happening next in your love life, so let's hop right into it. All right, so pile number one, this first, this first uh, group of cards right here are going to talk about who this person is. We have the Knight of Cups, King of Swords reversed, Two of Cups upright, Divine Wisdom being reversed, and then Page of Swords upright. So what I'm getting from this is that this person is a bit of a hopeless romantic. We have Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups right here. Mostly I'm getting that this person is probably going to be a water sign or an air sign and have a mix and a prominency of both within their astrological birth chart. So that would be that they're either a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces or a Gemini Libra or Aquarius and they at least have quite a bit of a mix of both within their birth chart or they just kind of act these personas to say the least so this type of person with the Knight of Cups and Two of Cups, they love romance, they love cuddles, they love being cute. This person probably talks in a baby voice once in a while. This person is like, they are the ones that dream about like fairy tales and things like that. And you know, with the Two of Cups right here, this person desires to have a very committed, balanced partnership with somebody who understands them and somebody who gets them. And I get that they don't really open up to a lot of people with King of Swords being reversed over here. This person has has internally I think a lot to talk about but they really don't express it a lot especially when they first meet somebody as you guys get to know them you start to realize that they are quite talkative but I don't think that this person's much of a social butterfly they seem to have like a small knit group of friends that they really like to hang out with and they don't they don't talk frivolously to a bunch of different people. They're not that type of person. They're the type of person who would definitely rather be a little bit more of a homebody is what I'm getting. And I'm also getting that this person really enjoys learning and reading. Divine wisdom is reversed over here. So I think this person has a lot of different insecurities about what they know. Um, they probably have a little bit of social anxiety is what I'm kind of gathering from divine wisdom being reversed. And they probably also seek out wisdom because they feel maybe a little bit inferior. And that's probably why they're a bookworm and that they really like to learn and study. Um, but at the same time, this person is like very knowledgeable. And I think as this person gets older, they're going to be literally like a Wikipedia. <laughs> they're going to be a Google. You could ask them anything and they're like, oh, I know a bit about that. <laughs> but you know, they're very humble. They're very humble. They don't express it right away about how much they know and things like that. This person's quite humble about who they are. So that's what I'm getting a little bit about who they are from these um, first cards that we have immediately over here. They do love humor and they have kind of a quirky, funny, maybe immature sense of humor. As you get to know them, you realize that they have this sort of immature sense of humor side. But when it comes to like romance and love, I think that this person and loves to get deeper and I think that they probably also have a very unique sense of style I'm getting that this person probably has some like chiseled jawline maybe some perfect teeth is what I'm gathering from page of swords and king of swords over here but they probably are kind of insecure about it because I feel like you know they probably have like something about their face where it seems maybe slightly asymmetrical to them that's why we have this one reversed and this one upright but yet when you look at them, it's like, oh, what? But that look looks really attractive. You know those people that you sometimes see and they have a bit of the asymmetry going on, but when you look at them, you're like, it fits you so well though. It looks so good on you. That's this type of person, okay? So I do think that they feel insecure, but there's somebody who's like, oh, hello, you know? Definitely getting these vibes. They also have a bit of softness, I think around their hair that probably, um, evens out the texture of their, you know, very intense bone structure and things like that is what I'm picking up from this person. So 
Getting into a bit more about what your guys' relationship is like, we have these cards right here. So we have the Six of Cups being reversed. We have the Queen of Cups upright. So we have more cup cards. This person definitely has some water signs in their chart, you guys, my goodness. Or at least you do, because this could also represent your own astrology as well. And then we also have the Emperor. So wow, this person wants their like king or queen that they get to just like, really um, grow with and be with. I'm also gonna put these cards a little bit higher so you guys can actually see a little bit more on them because I'm noticing it's a bit hard to see in the camera when they're down there. All right, so Six of Cups being reversed lets me know that this person's probably had some falling outs before in relationships and that's probably why they're a little bit more like shy but they're also still a hopeless romantic. They still want to believe that a fairy tale ending exists for them. Queen of Cups also is like, yeah, they're, they're really seeking out an emotional relationship. They're not somebody who's seeking out just like a good looking partner that they get to like show off and go to parties with. That's not, that's really not this person. This person is like, I want to find my person. I want to have a house together. I want to be homebodies together. I want to be each other's world. This person really wants to be your world. They want to have a very deep and make a very deep emotional connection with you so your relationship is definitely gonna be more along the lines of something that's very deep where you guys are very this is touchy-feely type of stuff Queen of Cups is definitely touchy-feely type of stuff this is like taking baths together things like that um, a little bit more about your guys's relationship together you guys really do not focus on the past you focus on the now and where you guys want to go you're very present and future oriented rather than past oriented you two aren't somebody you two aren't people that like cling on to the past then with the emperor over here you guys yeah you want to build that like a king and queen sort of relationship together this is like you two want to be each other's world and each other's focus and things like that i also think that you two will have big dreams and big accomplishments that you guys want to do in the world that you guys will be seeking out together i think that you two have a very strong relatability in that way so that is what i'm seeing over there our next three cards that we have we have the wolf we have snake and we have angel Ooh, hoo -hoo. okay so with the wolf and the snake and the angel, this person isn't very trusting to say the least. Like they don't really trust a lot of people. It takes them a while to open up and that's probably why they're a little bit more shy is because it really does take them a while to open up to people. But this person's like looking for their angel and in them you'll see them as an angel as well. It's like, wow, you two will finally really be able to trust each other because maybe you two have trust issues from the past. And then with wolf, this person, yeah, they're gonna be quite protective over you and I think you're gonna be quite protective over them as well. And it could be that they've um, had, they've dealt with snaky people in the past and you aren't going to really put up with them, especially if they try to like sneak back into this person's life every once in a while, or you might have that. And then this person's going to be like, nope, they're mine now. Getting a bit of that vibe from here as well. And yeah, I think that this is a very angelic romance where you two are just really deeply in love with each other. It's very beautiful. You two want to create something beautiful. You don't want to have to like struggle like some people do. I mean, relationships, there's always struggles that we all face, right? Always. But yeah, you two are both looking to keep the peace. This person wants to keep the peace in an argument and things like that. That's why we have that angel with the halo. They are peacekeepers. They want to, yeah, they just want to keep all of the the goodness. You know, there's somebody who will come to you and apologize, even if it's something that they wouldn't normally have to apologize for this person's going to step up and just be like you know i'm going to be the bigger person i'm going to say sorry right now because i don't want to keep you know the bad vibes going this person's like yeah definitely a peacekeeper so let's go ahead and shuffle these cards right here these are some animal cards we're going to get a little bit more about who this person is there we go let's see what we get we have camel gazelle cheetah and bat this person might be a bit of a night owl but this uh the bat is also a little bit more of an introvert as well so that could be something about them bats also remind me of scorpio and i don't know why but they've always reminded me of scorpio um even though they're more of an air sign thing but i don't know why they always remind me of that then we also have camel over here so this person is very resourceful they don't need a lot Think about a camel, they carry all the water on their back, they can go through long uh, treks through the desert and things like that. So yeah, this person's definitely somebody who is, they don't require a lot. They're not somebody who's like, I need all the different material items. This person pretty much has what they need and as long as they have their basic needs met, this person's pretty dang satisfied. They're, they're easy to please. 
We also have a gazelle. So this person is a bit, yeah, gazelles are shy as well. So this person, they're very beautiful to look at, but this person's also pretty shy. You know, anytime that they go to a party, they're like, when do we leave though? <laughs> that's definitely this person's vibe, that's for sure. And then we have cheetah. This person's also a very quick thinker as well. And they're also very passionate. When they want something, they really like to go for it, but I think that they go for it in a little bit more of a covert sort of way because they don't like to really be in anyone's faces. <laughs> they don't really like to, yeah, they're not as social, right? They're a little bit more undercover and things like that. So I'm getting this vibe from them. And with that being said, let's go ahead and take our astro dice. Let's get any last information on this reading for you guys. Pile number one, this person is sounding quite dreamy so far. So yes, good luck. This looks amazing. I don't really see any bad things over here. Other than you guys might have to worry about exes a little bit, trying to come back into the picture because I think either your ex or this person's ex is still really attached to you or them. And so that might be one thing that you guys have to watch out for. All right, so we got Mars, we have Cancer, and we have the 12th house. So 12th house is ruled by Pisces, Mars is ruled by Aries and Scorpio as well, or it rules those signs, I should say. But when we have Mars in Cancer in the 12th house, this is where we take action from. So this person is very action-oriented towards home life, towards cuddling, towards romance, towards having very deep talks, and something that's very deep with the person that they're with. They probably also have a bit of a spiritual side as well when we have the 12th house coming up. They're probably slightly interested in those things um, and yeah they're definitely quiet Pisces is definitely a little bit more quiet you might notice that this person m might struggle with um, certain like getting out of their shell a little bit when we have 12th house which is Pisces this person also loves pets when we have cancer in the 12th house this person probably is hugely an animal person they want to have pets and you'll probably own pets together if you guys um, decide to go that route and move that far in with each other but that is what I'm seeing over here for you guys pile number one so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up for me hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already I also want to say this person in arguments before I go <laughs> getting another message this person Person, um, whenever they're arguing this person tends to be a bit more quiet and um, they don't like to raise their voice like if they ever disagree they do it in a very kind of quiet sort of like so I have this issue you know they don't come to you like bad there's this thing that's wrong da, 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 da. just wanted to point that out because I felt that right there as I was looking at that so that is what I'm seeing over there this person's very calm very nurturing things like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading pound number one if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up for me hit the subscribe button down below if you guys want to see more videos like this and if so I will see you guys in my next one Bye. All right so group number two if you guys chose this pile this is going to be your reading for your future in your love life. What's your future gonna look like? What's happening next? So without further ado, let's hop right into your guys' reading. All right, so group number two, here's what we have for you guys. Our first few cards that we have right now, these ones are all about um, basically who this type of person is, so who they are. So we have the Hangman, Judgment, High Priestess, Nine of Cups, and the Emperor all right side up. So let's talk about what all of this is. So immediately I'm getting the fact with the Hangman over here that this person has not been in a relationship in a while. They've been very career oriented and career focused for the past while. Um, when you meet them, this person's a little bit more slow in relationships. They, I don't think that they've... Um, yeah, they haven't had a, had a relationship in the, in the past little while, to say the least. This person's also super like knowledge hungry. This person likes to grow in multiple different ways. This person really wants to wait for the right thing. I get this sense with the high priestess and the hangman in judgment. This person really takes their love life very seriously. Like these are, we have mostly major arcana cards right here. They take their love life very seriously, guys. They've been on the waiting game for a bit because this person, they know what they want. Judgment right here, they look at people and they're like, okay, no, they don't have that, they don't have that. And I don't want you guys to listen to this being nervous because obviously if they're coming next in your love life, you're somebody that they're obviously going to be very interested in because it looks like they are quick to, um, not really move forward with other people because I think that they're just waiting for this right sort of feeling, the person that's right, that has all the things that they're wishing for because the Nine of Cups is kind of like making a wish and having your dreams being fulfilled and the fact that we have Emperor right here, this person is well accomplished. They're looking for someone who's also, you know, can fit 
and keep up with them. They, they want someone who can keep up with their knowledge. They want someone who can keep, keep up with their probably fast paced and busy lifestyle. This person seems like they're probably pretty busy. They have a lot going on. Uh, they probably have already built certain businesses that they've already become successful in. And so now they're kind of just on the waiting game for their love life to meet the right person. So this person's like very serious. They don't like just date around. They don't seem like that type of person. They seem like someone who's like, I am waiting patiently <laughs> for the right person you know and they're really they're they're quite picky with their love life because they know that how what a serious choice it is they understand how serious that um choosing a partner is and so this person wants to make sure that they choose the right one this person is very uh, confident in themselves they seem like someone who's very confident they seem like someone who's just looking for the right fit for them so that is what i'm seeing right off the bat let's go ahead and take our next few cards this is going to be about your guys's relationship what's it what it is it going to be like so let's see we have the four of swords right here we also have the wheel of fortune okay so it looks like you guys are meeting each other by some sort of just odd chance you two are at the same place at the same time uh type of type of vibe then we also have the three of crystals this person is going to be very interested in who you are and what you do and things like that um so let's see okay I think that you two will meet and have a pretty fast paced upwards sort of lifestyle. You probably will meet while you two are out um, because the four of swords right here, when it is reversed, this is kind of like not really being at home, right? So this person's probably going to want to do things with you. It's probably changing up every day. I don't think your day to day is going to look the exact same with this person when we have wheel of fortune. Kind of looks like it depends how you guys feel when you wake up. You know, this is the type of person that's like, okay, well, I'm taking today off. What do you want to do? Do you want to go out and want to go on a mini road trip real quick? Or like, you know, this is the type of person that wants that fast paced, spontaneous, more fun sort of lifestyle. And it's because they've had that on the back burner for so long now. Then we do also have the three of crystals. This person also takes their work very seriously. So you might also, um, work on things with them. So three of crystals, you probably have a lot of projects going on with this person. Your relationship is probably always focused on, okay, what do you want to do next? What can we do next? Do you want to, you know, do this sort of project together? Do you want to work on this thing? It's very much planning out different things, coming together with all these different ideas and things like that. Three of swords might indicate that this relationship might not last forever. It could be a more Three of Swords is interesting because Three of Swords is normally like sort of a disappointment. And so when we have this one coming up here, it could mean that this relationship between you two isn't going to last necessarily forever. It could be one of those temporary, more karmic relationships. Uh, this person tends to be, looks like they're very picky. It looks like they're a very picky person. So it could be that, you know, you guys have to work through certain things together. It might not mean heartbreak necessarily that it's going to end. It could also just mean that this person has a lot of expectations and it could be that, you two have to really grow and work together on this relationship in order to make it last because this person really needs a little bit of a wake-up call because it kind of looks like they're waiting around for perfection but perfection does not exist right so three of swords could just mean that you guys are working through different things in order to have a more successful relationship so this person's definitely going to need to learn those things in order for this to last um, for a long time so that's what i'm seeing over there Let's see what else we get, you guys. We have a blindfold. We have bird and we have wreath. Ooh. All right, so when we have these cards right here, the blindfold is definitely making me think that this person doesn't really understand a lot about relationships. And so that's gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be totally a thing that they have to wake up to. I think that you are going to be somebody who wakes them up to realizing that their expectations in relationships are probably pretty unrealistic um, and things like that. So this person's definitely gonna have to wake up for that. It does seem like you two will have a very fun relationship. There's gonna be a lot of fulfillment. So I don't want you guys to get disappointed when I talk about the hardships that you guys have to work through. The nine of cups here says that there's going to be a lot of fulfillment um, and that this person just, they seek fulfillment, right? Um, and so when we have these two right here, these are quite positive as well, but it just seems like you know, you guys have to work through a couple different things. You probably have to wake them up to realizing that relationships aren't, you know, the way that this person currently looks at relationships. We also have a bird over here. 
So I do see a lot of travel between you two. I think that, yeah, this is again quite spontaneous. It's like, oh, where do you wanna to go to today? Um, this person also really wants to up level all the time and probably because in business, they've had to climb the ladder a lot. So in relationships, they're almost looking for the same sort of thing. But the bird also does signify romance as well. So that's another good positive aspect of the bird. Then we also do have wreath. So this actually signifies commitment and things like that and also celebration of some kind because whenever you hang up a wreath it's about celebration so if we're going to talk about the wreath right now this could mean a wedding or a marriage if you guys decide to work through your ish which i think this person has the ability to do that but it really depends on your confidence to really step up to them and be like yo okay hold up your expectations in relationships are a little bit unrealistic so if you guys are able to step up to that plate i think you're going to win yourself somebody who you know it is quite successful and knows how to really you know provide this person seems like someone who really knows how to provide um so wreath is yeah definitely celebrations i see that you two could have a very happy ending together as long as yeah you're not um willing to back down on stepping up and telling them and putting them in their place a little bit so that's what i'm seeing right there for you guys let's also shuffle these animal cards and get a little bit more about what you guys's relationship is like a little bit more about this person let's see what we can get over here for you guys so pile number two let's see pile two a bit more about your future relationship this person also has to realize how to take more time away from work as well. Definitely picking that up. This person might be just hugely all about their work and that might also be what this disappointment is and you have to kind of tell them that they need to focus a little bit more on relationships because they are so used to working all the time and not focusing on relationships that when you guys get together, you're probably going to need to swing them around in the other direction to get used to a new routine and lifestyle. Just saying. Okay. So definitely these three were wanting to come out. We have Peacock, we have Phoenix, and we have Elk. Ooh, wow. Okay, so with Peacock, this person likes to be successful. This person also likes to have something that they can show off and be proud of because I think that's what they're used to in their business. Um, this person's also quite good looking as well. They care about their looks. They like to dress fancy. They probably wear designer clothes when you have Peacock, or at least they just like to, you know, they're probably somebody who, they iron out their shirts in the morning. You know, they want to look, they want to look their best. They want to look the most presentable. So that's one aspect about them right there. We also have Phoenix. So this person has probably been through a lot. They've had to maybe build something from nothing. And so they have had to have this rebirth uh, before in their life. And I think that that's what's also going to need to happen um, in the relationship as well, because they're going to have to realize that they need to break down their old routines and habits in order to have a successful relationship. And then we do also have elk. This person's very strong. This person can, they can do a lot. If you think about an elk, they have those antlers. They're quite masculine. And so with this card coming up, I would assume that this person is quite masculine and quite forward about what they want. And they really know how to get what they want. They're used to getting what they want. So I think you're going to have to break down a lot of their old, um, ways of thinking in order to be a bit more accommodating into a relationship because you know you can't always get what you want in a relationship you have to learn how to compromise and things like that so that's going to be one thing that you guys are teaching them in relationship so with that being said let's go ahead and take our astro dice and roll them to find out any last information on this reading for you guys so we have the first house, of course. We have Neptune and we have Gemini. So this person's gonna have to learn, with Gemini, they're gonna learn how to have to balance both while still being themselves. Because this person's very much, when we have the first house, they're very much all about them because that's what they've just been for the past little while. You know, they haven't had to be in a relationship in a while, so they kind of forgot the dynamics of that. So this is about, you know, maybe they're looking for someone who's super similar to them, but maybe that's like they wouldn't get along with that person anyway because there wouldn't be a relationship because both of them would be working all the time, literally. So this person's going to have to learn those different things and how to fit in that. And they're going to have to use their imagination a lot. So with Neptune, so Neptune in Gemini in the first house, you're going to have to, this person's you have to break down their fantasy. This is a fantasy about, you know, finding someone just like them, which, yeah. <laughs> there's a fantasy there that's going to have to be broken down. So that's what it looks like 
um, is happening in your guys' next relationship. If you guys sound similar to this reading, it's probably that you two are going to meet each other and have to break down certain old ideals in order to actually have um, a, a successful relationship, which looks like it's absolutely a possibility over here. But yeah, definitely have to break down old ideals and things like that for you guys. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, pile number two. Hope you guys enjoyed today's reading. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you guys want to see more videos like this. And if so, I will see you in my next one. Bye. All right, so group number three, if you guys chose this pile, this is going to be your reading all about what's happening next in your love life. So let's hop right into it. All right, pile number three. Here's what we have for you guys. We have the lovers, seven of pentacles, king of wands, king of pentacles, and the ace of wands all upright. So this first section of the video talks about who, the, who they are, who this person is that's coming into your life. The fact that we have lovers and two kings over here, I'm getting major Gemini vibes right off the bat. Um, it doesn't have to be, but the lovers is, the, uh, is ruled by the sign of Gemini and the fact that we have two kings and they're just different signs they come up right next to each other also gives me this sort of Gemini vibe but they don't have to be they could also be a fire sign or an earth sign and the fact that we also have ace of wands alludes to fire as well but definitely getting those signs most prominently right off the bat from this uh, reading so if we're talking about who this person is this person is someone who has this divine masculine feminine nature. They really have themselves pretty integrated. I think that this person sees themselves confidently. Um, then they aren't like too out there. They have this beautiful balance of not being like too social, but not being too introverted either. This person has like a wonderful balance of like, oh, I could totally stay at home and then oh, I could totally go out. You know, this person has a great balance between the two. And they seem like someone who's pretty easygoing. And depending on what you want to do, they're like, yeah, sure, let's, let's go do that. This person seems like quite okay with life and quite okay with anything. I do get a little bit of the spontaneous vibe with the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands over here. So this person does enjoy, you know, going with the flow and the feeling of it. So this person is like more likely the person that when they wake up and they're like, oh, I'm really feeling like this today. You know, you want to do that tonight? And you know, that's how they're feeling. And then that's what ends up happening, right? So they're not somebody who, I don't think this person, they do plan ahead once in a while. And I do think that they're very goal oriented with this seven of pentacles, but they're also quite spontaneous. This person's quite fun, humorous. I think that they know how to have a conversation as well. I think that they're a person, if you take them out somewhere, they can really talk and get along with anybody. They just really seem like kind of a social butterfly in that aspect, but also somebody who also is like an anchor as well. They're the social butterfly and the anchor. They really know how to do it all. And I think that is probably one of their most attractive qualities. So when we're looking at this, they're really somebody who can fit into any crowd. You could take them anywhere. They know how to be polite. They know how to be fun. They know how to be funny. They know how to be like all the different things. So this person's quite, what a good catch, pile number three. My goodness, what a good catch. <laughs> they're also um, very attractive. When we have the Ace of Wands, this is somebody who's like, you know, they turn heads, okay? They turn heads. Um, they also do really like romance when we have the lovers. They're looking for a committed partnership. They like partnership. They're probably somebody who dreams about relationships all the time. Um, and they are committed once they find somebody that they want, that being the key word. They are committed once they find the person that they do really want. Somebody who, you know, really catches their eye. With the Seven of Pentacles right here, they're someone who also, they, have a lot of dreams and goals and desires, especially around relationships as well. Especially, they do have it around career stuff as well. Yes, I do wanna say that, but also, especially around relationships. They have a lot of different relationship milestones that they want to reach and that they want to attain, but they're also someone who's free flowing. They're okay with whatever happens. You know, this person's very like, oh, that happened? Okay, well, we can do it. This person seems to be quite optimistic a lot of the times. Um, and they also do have a lot of success as well. This King of Pentacles is a card that is about success. So I do think that this person is quite successful in their career. They already have a career that's planted, especially since we have two Kings, this person is already well established. Um, and, but they do enjoy, they just enjoy. This person's just totally one of those people that are like quite happy and positive all the time is the vibes that I'm getting. Quite happy and positive. But yeah, they're quite goal oriented as well. Since these two cards are looking at this like goal card right here, the seven of pentacles, definitely getting goal oriented vibes from this pile. So with that being said, let's go into the next set of cards. This is going to be talking about your guys' relationship together. So let's see what we have over here. 
Eight of Swords being reversed, so this person really enjoys freedom and you're going to enjoy freedom together as well. So one thing that I will say about your guys' relationship when we have the Eight of Swords coming up, you two both will be people that want each other to be free. And I'm not saying that there isn't monogamy in the relationship. This person does look like they enjoy monogamy. Um, but again, it is a general reading. But I do see that they do enjoy monogamy. The fact that we have the lovers, that's a monogamous relationship. But there's a sense of freedom where you guys don't wanna like restrict each other from seeing friends. You guys don't wanna restrict each other from living out your guys' lives. You know, you're not one of those people that are like, I need to hold you down and I need to like, you know, I need to have you at home by 7 p.m. every night because otherwise I'm gonna feel insecure. Da -da 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 -da. This person loves their freedom. The King of Wands, Ace of Wands, this person loves their freedom. They also are an anchor in a relationship. They want a committed, beautiful, balanced relationship, but freedom is going to be a huge thing in this relationship. It's going to be very important for both of you. Um, you two aren't gonna be like, you know, oh, don't wear that. You know, it's too revealing. You know, this person seems more like, I want you to be you, and if I love you, then great, let's have a relationship, but I don't wanna change you, and I don't wanna control you, and I don't want you to change me, and I don't want you to control me. That's what this relationship is absolutely speaking to me right now with the Eight of Swords being reversed. Then we also have serenity. So that's how this person finds their serenity is through that freedom, okay? They want a beautiful relationship that's peaceful, they don't want one that's like getting fiery and getting like angry all the time. This person's definitely looking for something that's peaceful, something that feels zen that they can come home to. Like they want to have a relationship that is their anchor, but not an anchor that restricts them, okay? An anchor with a free chain that they can go, you know, do what they desire to do in life, accomplish the goals that they so dream about, be themselves, they so dearly want to be themselves in your relationship together is going to be you two being yourselves, but having a peaceful relationship together. And it, it brings in more peace because you two have this freedom to be able to do what you want without feeling this sense of control and restriction. Okay, so that is what this relationship is going to be. Oh, and look at that, our next card, we got a presence of this person, yeah. I think they've experienced relationships in the past where there's been uh, control and being chained up and things like that and not literally being chained up but like you know when you're like being restricted in certain ways and being controlled in certain ways uh, and you feel like you can't really be yourself you two I feel like have experienced this and this relationship you're not going to want that but you might run into some of these old kind of habits creeping up that might make you feel sometimes like ooh, I don't really like this feeling and then you guys are gonna have to work through it because you know, sometimes when we enter into a relationship, there's unsaid certain expectations and sometimes they're even said, right? So I think that you two will have to break free from some of those in order to still feel this freedom but still have the commitment, if that makes sense. You're still having this beautiful commitment to each other but there's also this freedom of like, you know, I really feel like going to see my friend all the way in New York and I just feel like doing it and I know you're not free right now and this is just spontaneous. I want to do it myself. Just let me go, you know, instead of feeling like, oh, I have to wait until my partner's free, you know. The, this person wants that freedom and I think that's something that you two will have to work on a little bit. And then we do also have the Two of Swords being reversed. So the Two of Swords being reversed is opening up letting the restriction barriers open. That's why I have impression of the two of swords. This is, this is so speaking, this person wants freedom. It is so dang important to them. And that, yeah, that two of swords just says that this person wants you to be able to open up and trust. Trust is going to be the biggest thing in this relationship for you guys. And I think that this person is very trustworthy. When we have all these cards up here, this person is absolutely good for their word. King of Pentacles, they're good for their word. They are committed, they are here. They just wanna be able to have that trust so that they can still live their really fun spontaneous lifestyle this person enjoys traveling this person enjoys uh, like communicating and being able to communicate with whoever whenever that they want you know they really enjoy those things but they still do love that commitment they want a committed relationship that it just allows them to be themselves so they don't have to feel like worried like oh, is she gonna get mad if she, if, if she or he sees this right you know they want that freedom in this relationship so those are huge things over here. They don't want to feel chained down. They want to feel free, but they also want that commitment. And you can figure out ways to have both. It takes a little bit of work, but you can figure it out. So I do think you guys will be figuring it out together. We do also have the sun, the bull, and castle. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, guys. 
that looks beautiful. So sun is ruled by, um, or it rules Leo. So that could definitely be um, a potential here when we have all these wand cards, because they do signif signify air signs, or sorry, fire signs. <laughs> Thinking about air signs, because Gemini comes up, comes to mind um, in this reading. But the fire signs is Leo, Aries, and also uh, Sagittarius. So definitely getting some Leo or even Taurian vibes over here because we do also have the King of Pentacles, which could be an Earth sign as well, but then we also have some Gemini vibes over here. So very interesting. Could also be one of your signs coming up as confirmation. But yeah, this person wants that commitment. Taurus is absolutely commitment in a relationship, um, but also feeling comfortable, right? Also not being... They're wanting to still shine. They don't want to dim any of their light to be in a relationship. They want to just be, feel comfortable to shine their brightest and their fullest without being restricted or controlled. That's what sun and bull are. Okay? Sun and bull. Whew. They want to shine their fullest and be comfortable around you to be themselves without being like judged or restricted. Then we do also have castle over here. So this person wants to build something strong and big. This person also has probably big dreams, big, big accomplishment goals that they want to reach. Okay. They could be monetary as well. Since we have castle and bowl, there could be big monetary uh, goals that this person or together that you might have. I do also see if this relationship continues, you guys will probably be buying a house together because bull um, with Taurus is talking about money with castle could be buying a house. So yeah, definitely seeing those vibes over here for you guys. Very fun, very interesting. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and shuffle our animal cards over here. This is just going to let us know a little bit more about this person and the type of relationship that you guys are going to have together. So pile number three. Let's see. Okay, that was that was a lot. I'm also really feeling like this one wants to come out. So let's see. We have golden egg, which reminds me of Leo once again. Very interesting. So this card right here talks about you guys building something together, something brand new, something, you know, this person doesn't want to repeat old things in relationships. They want something brand new. <laughs> I can tell you that for sure with that card right there. We also have zebra, so it's giving me another Gemini vibe, the black and white, definitely giving me some Gemini vibes over here. Um, but this is also someone who, yeah, they, they want to show their good and their bad with you, is what I'm getting from this card. They want to be seen in all of their colors, you know? They want everything in between. They don't just want to show you all of the good things of themselves. This person wants to be very open and have a very... Yeah, just very open and honest relationship. We also have otter. Otters are huge romantic. So this person does have a romantic side. That's for sure. They want to have their rock. Basically, you know, you, when you see otters swimming in ponds, if you guys have not seen that yet, please go YouTube that right after this video because it is so dang cute. Um, but yeah, that reminds me of just like cuddling, being together. They want to be with you. They don't want freedom because they want to go see what else is out there. I think this person desires freedom just because they want to be able to be themselves and be accepted by, for that, but also still want to have their soulmate. Otter speaks about soulmate. We also have Peacock. This person probably likes to dress themselves up. They like to be fancy. This person has a fancy side, but also a very relaxing side because we also had Taurus right here. So Taurus and Peacock. This person enjoys the fine things in life because Taurus is all about those fine things as well and making money and being real nice and things like that. But they also really like their comfort as well because Taurus, but they also really enjoy. They're both. They have that mix of both where they're like, I can be comfortable. I can sit at home and be comfy in my PJs but I can also be real fancy. You know, that's this person for sure. Then we also have Phoenix. So this person's probably been through a lot. Very interesting. We had a couple of these cards in one of the last readings as well. But with Phoenix, this is someone who's risen from the ashes. They've been through some ish before in their life, probably especially in relationships before. And that's why they're ready for this new beginning over here. So that is definitely what I'm getting from this pile. They're also looking for someone who gets them on that level and who understands it. So this person sounding quite nice so far, pile number three. So let's go ahead and roll these dice over here to get any last info on this reading for you guys. 
All right, we got Mercury, which is uh, the ruler of Gemini and Virgo. We also have Libra out here, and we also have the seventh house, which is also about Libra. So I do see marriage in here most likely because of Libra in the seventh house. Mercury is someone who really likes, they get stimulated by conversation. They get stimulated by movement, things that are happening. They are probably conversationalists that ob they observe a lot. And so they want to observe a lot in a relationship. They want to be able to have a really, someone who they can just talk to, someone who they can really come home to and be quick and spontaneous with you know they're probably someone who really enjoys reading as well when we have mercury so mercury when it is in libra in the seventh house this person's also probably fast paced in relationships as well they're probably quick movers they're not somebody who takes a lot of time in relationships per se they're probably someone who when they know they know <laughs> and they're probably quite uh, fast paced once they know to say the least. But they're also looking for something that's equal, something that's fair. So this person, um, Libra in the seventh house, this person is not someone that's going to expect you to give them freedom, but then be controlling over you. This person is not about that. This person is about equal fairness. They see the equality, they see the fairness, they want the equality, they want the fairness. If they do, if they put in this much effort, they're also expecting the same back. And if you put in this much effort, they're also gonna do the same back for you. So this person's all about the balance and that is what I'm seeing for you guys, pile number three. Hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button down below if you guys wanna see more videos like this. And if so, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. All right, so group number four, if you guys chose this pile, this is going to be your reading all about what is coming next in your love life. So let's hop right into it. All right, so pile number four, here's what we got for you guys. It's very interesting, first of all, that you chose pile number four and we have the four of wands and four of swords. We have two four cards, plus this is pile number four. There's a lot of four type of energy over here. So first off, I'm getting that this person really enjoys their alone time, their home time, things like that. With the sun card over here, this person's quite noticeable. I think in their style, there's something that really just sticks out about them. Cause I do wanna say the first couple cards, I almost forgot to mention this. Oh my God, I'm getting like right into this reading before mentioning important parts. These first first five cards over here represent who this person is. The next cards will represent the type of relationship that you guys will have and things like that. So these first cards are who they are. So this person, there's something about them that really stands out. It sticks out. But then I'm also getting some Scorpio vibes over here with this death card. And this is something, this person's really deep. They enjoy transformation. They probably enjoy really transforming themselves quite a bit. So they're probably somebody who colors their hair often. There's something about them that sticks out and it's something that they transform a lot. So it could be their sense of style. The clothing that they wear might be something that really sticks out a lot, might be uh, something that stands out. Maybe they do their makeup in a way that really stands out. Somehow this person really stands out of the crowd, but yet this person's also, I feel like they're a little bit more of an introvert, but they also kind of enjoy the attention a little bit is what I'm kind of picking up over here. There's somebody who stands out, but they kind of enjoy being more internal. You know, they seem like they have a bit more of that sort of shy, maybe a little bit more of that Scorpio hidden sort of vibe, but yet they also stick out at the same time. So they probably have some pretty interesting astrology, you guys, to say the least. They probably have a sun sign that's like Leo, but then, or what I'm picking up is more that they probably have a sun sign that's like Scorpio, but then a moon that's like Leo to where they're like, I want to stand out. I want to like, woo. you know, it's kind of the vibes I'm getting from this. So I don't want to put, they don't have to be exactly those signs to fit under this, but that's just like one of the examples that I can think of off the top of my head that would fit the description of a person like this. With the four of wands over here, that's giving me that sort of homebody sort of vibe. Um, but they also are someone who I think even dresses up when they're at home. <laughs> they're somebody who just has the very unique sense of style and yeah, they just really, they stand out of the crowd to say the least. The Ace of Pentacles is making me feel like this person is still sort of, you know, they, they don't enjoy um, like, they haven't maybe, the vibe that I'm getting from this is a bit more of this free spirit is what I wanna say. This sort of free spirit vibe where they're always like, oh, I'm gonna begin this and oh, I'm gonna begin this and oh, I'm gonna begin this. But they don't really seem like somebody who, um, they get bored really easily is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. They get bored really easily. That's why we have this death card, which is all about transformation. So there's somebody who takes a lot of new beginnings. They're always like, oh, I'm inspired by this today. Oh, I'm inspired by that today. Ooh, I like that now. You know, they're a very fun person because they get their hands wet in a lot of different areas. Um, and they really enjoy that. They really enjoy this new beginning. I'm also getting this artsy vibe from them. So I wouldn't be surprised if this person is into doing some sort of artsy sort of stuff as well. 
And then we do also have the Four of Swords right here. They're definitely somebody who enjoys daydreaming. They daydream a lot. They think about a lot of things. That's where their creativity comes in. So there's somebody who enjoys their quiet time in that sort of sense. But then they're also somebody who they, they have this desire. And I don't really like saying attention because usually that has a bad connotation to it, like somebody who wants attention. But I'm not getting it in a negative way. There's somebody who just, they put a lot of, work into who they are and to the, into themselves and they've gone through a lot of personal transformation and they like getting recognition for that. So that's a better way to put it. That's a more positive way to put it. So it's not necessarily that they're like attention seekers, but they are somebody who puts a lot of effort into who they are and they really enjoy getting the recognition for that. So that is a vibe that I'm getting over here, um, especially when it comes to maybe their artwork or the way that they've worked on themselves with their style, their hair, their makeup, whatever the case may be. I'm feeling like there's something here that stands out. Um, and they, yeah, they enjoy, they enjoy the compliments. They enjoy getting that part of them noticed because they do put a lot of effort into those things. So definitely getting those sorts of vibes from this pile over here. They definitely seem like a free spirit. Um, yeah, they could also be somebody as they get older, they're really into like homes or decorating or something like that, or having a thing that stands out in that sort of way as well is something that I'm getting. So with that being said, let's move into our next few cards. Let's see what we get over here. Um, these ones are all about your guys' relationship, what it's going to be like. So let's see what we have. So we have the Page of Swords over here. So I do think that you guys will enjoy communicating about things. This is like when you two can also have fun with each other and make jokes and just laugh and have fun. This person probably is pretty good with criticism and they enjoy like the funny like jokes where it's like um, just fun banter. There's a fun banter that this person enjoys. So you two together will have this fun banter sort of relationship. And then we do also have the Page of Cups. There's definitely some romance here. I feel like there's still this young vibe. When I'm looking at this pile, the energy that I get is this young vibe. And it's very interesting that we have the page and two pages that are coming up next because this also talks about that sort of young vibe. So that's confirmation about what I was feeling kind of earlier, uh, but I wanted to wait till we got into the next few cards, but it does seem like this person enjoys that young vibe. They don't enjoy like the, um, I feel like this person is an old soul, but they also enjoy their childhood innocence at the same time. You know, it's this very interesting contrast. I think this person is, they're very dualistic in that sense, but I'm getting this sort of young vibe where they don't really want to be tied down and committed to like a permanent job that they end up working in for the next 40 years. This person is not about that. They're more about these new beginnings, these, these, fun things that they can come up with this creative, these creative ideas that they can put into works and things like that. And then we do also have the perspective card right here. And perspective is the justice card, which is all about fairness and balance. So this person really has like this equality point of view. They really like balance in their relationship. They really like, they can see things for what they are. They're a very quick thinker. They think on their feet um, and they are romantic, but I think that their romance isn't like, you know, like deep, deep, deep love romance. This person's more romance with like, like, oh, let's really like enjoy each other. Let's, let's da 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 da. They're very creative with their romance. I feel like there's more of a creative aspect of their romance rather than like a traditional sense of their romance. It just seems a bit more creative. And then we do also have the nine of wands right here. So this person has probably been through some stuff in their home life before. So you guys' relationship together is going to be something where maybe you guys are a little bit nervous of getting your heart broken because with the nine of wands, there is this sense of like, okay, I've been through some stuff before with some people and like, I'm ready to open up again, but I'm still kind of a little bit on guard. So the nine of wands lets me know that together, I do think that the reason why your relationship isn't necessarily as deep as like the deep, deep romance is actually out of a little bit of fear of getting too deep and getting too hurt. So there is this standoffish sort of sense um, that you two are gonna take a little while to get fully comfortable with each other when it comes to romance. It seems like you two are more on like, this like oh I really love you and like we're really good friends and like you know we we say that we're in a relationship but you know it could be that you guys aren't you know you're not getting as deep as it could be because there's this sort of fear from old things that you guys still need to work through together so I'm getting definitely a little bit of that vibe and that's probably why we have this justice over here actually as well too is because you guys want to be able to trust each other but there's a little bit of the standoffishness that's happening just because of this fear of getting hurt and things like that so 
definitely getting a little bit of that vibe right here um, because yeah, there's fears that need to be worked through with that perspective card. So with that being said, let's take out our next card to get some more info over here. So we have Ram, which is ruled by Aries. And then we also have butterfly and then we also have heart. Ooh, so yeah, it's Aries. There's a little bit of that standoffish sort of energy as well with this Aries card coming up. It's a little bit of the, uh, cause you know, it's the ram with the horns, you know, they're a little bit more, they're ready to charge, but they also are passionate. They're, this person also, this is that free spirit energy that I was talking about. This person gives me this free spirit energy and Aries is definitely the free, wild, untamed sort of energy. And I do feel like this person is a bit more untamed. They do enjoy being at home, that's for sure. They do enjoy their home life as well, but they are also kind of untamed. They're not really uh, domesticated to say the least. This person's a little bit undomesticated. That's why I have that sun. It's very free, transformative. They enjoy being very creative and things like that. Then we do also have butterfly. This person enjoys their freedom. This also says that they also have that uh, unique look as well. So butterflies are interesting because they've started in a cocoon. They've been through some ish, which was talks, which is talked about over here with the nine of wands. Um, and they've blossomed into this beautiful creative. They've took what they've been through and turned it into something creative. So they're very creative and they've transformed. You know, we have death, which is also the butterfly because that talks about that cocoon stage, which is very interesting. And then we have butterflies on this card too. So. It's all about that cocoon stage. This person has taken what they've been through and transformed it into something beautiful. And that's what I was saying about they really like to get that recognized because they've, they've been through a lot and they've been able to really turn it into something creative. So this person's definitely all about that. They like turning anything into creativity. Heart, this person, whew, they want to wear their heart on their sleeve. They want to fall in love deep, but there's again that little bit of fear um, and it comes from, you know, their previous experience. So they really have to learn how to reopen up their heart. So together, I think that you two will be learning, um, how to come out of your guys' cocoons because this person individually, I think you two have come out of, out of your own cocoons individually, but in relationships, you'll notice that the, the cocoon kind of comes back to where you two are like, Hmm. I don't want to fully be totally vulnerable here, but this relationship is all about opening up that vulnerability more and more over time, you guys. So that is what I'm seeing so far. This looks like a beautiful transformative relationship so far. So with that being said, let's go ahead and shuffle these animal cards right here to get any last information about you two and this person. We have Vulture. Ooh, yeah, this person's definitely been through some stuff in their life. This also talks about that flying transformation, that air sign sort of stuff. Vulture reminds me so much of Scorpio again, getting so many Scorpionic vibes from this pile. So this person, they are definitely on guard. They've been through some stuff. They, you have to watch out um, with this person about like, ever lying. Don't ever lie to this person. This person can feel it and see it through anything. And you know, this person's probably had, they probably have a front for trying to detect lies anyway, because they probably had to deal with some and a lot actually in the past. So this person is on guard of deceit. So this person's very scared of deceit. So I will say one thing in this relationship and don't ever, not even a white lie, just, just don't. This person can smell it from like 10, you know, 10 miles away, let's say. So let's see what else we get. We also get, Ooh, wait, that's, that's a lot. Let's just go with it. Let's see what we get. We also have bear over here. So this person is also very protective. They also have a very tough skin, um, but they can also roar. So if you ever, you know, I'm really getting this vibe that if this person gets hurt or betrayed, they are like not the funnest to be around to say the least. So, I mean, definitely don't lie around this person. Just, you know, do things properly in the right way. We also have elephant over here. Elephants are actually good luck. Um, so when elephant comes in, this is wisdom and knowledge. So you two are going to grow a lot together. You're going to learn so much about relationships and other things like that together. We also have horse and buffalo. This is about freedom. This person enjoys being a free spirit. We already know that. So horse just confirms that. We also have buffalo. So buffalo is, is interesting because they, Again, there's this, this thick skin sort of theme coming up in these cards. This person definitely has a thick skin. It's probably hard to get to their heart. 
but I think that you guys are going to reach it. That's why with this relationship is happening, you guys will be able to reach their heart, but you're gonna notice that they get a bit tough around you and they wanna put on that tough sort of front or they might even blow it off as humor sometimes. But it's because this person has a fear of getting in too deep. Oh, and then we have the Scorpion, which <laughs> I was getting so many Scorpio vibes. And look, look what we get over here. We have the Scorpion, which is Scorpio. So yes, this person is definitely, um, most likely has a lot of Scorpio in their chart or eighth house sort of stuff. This also is what's ruled by the death card, which is all about that transformation. This person has been through a lot of transformation in their life. They enjoy transforming themselves. They probably enjoy makeup or things like that that can allow them to transform themselves on the daily because this person is just all about that, you know? So that is what I'm seeing over there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take our Astro Dice to get any last info on this reading for you guys, pound number four. We have Leo, so that's like this person does enjoy getting noticed. We have fifth house, which is ruled by Leo. And then we also have Saturn. Whew. Okay, so yes, this person does enjoy that Leo sort of sun energy. They probably have some Leo Scorpio um, in their chart because that's what I'm feeling mostly from this reading. They could be any other sign as well. Um, but normally uh, when we have these being so prominent, I do think that those are most likely going to be the sign of this person. So the Saturn in Leo in the fifth house, this person, they want to be um, recognized and appreciated. This person, appreciation and recognition are going to be very big in this relationship. Um, and this person enjoys kind of like, you know, being noticed for what they do. And with Saturn over there, this is also someone who has some walls up, some restrictions. And so Leo is something that wants to shine. So Saturn being in Leo, Saturn is more of like, no, it's going to be a restriction, da 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 da. So Saturn being in Leo, Leo tries to open it up, tries to open up these restrictions. And then being in the fifth house, this is the house of having fun. So this person really wants to open up and have fun and really enjoy themselves, but they have to break down walls in order to be there. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Pile number four, that is just big confirmation having those astrodice come up at the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up for me. Hit the subscribe button down below if you guys wanna see more videos like this. And if so, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. All right, so my last pile, pile number five, you guys chose this pile. This is gonna be your reading all about what is happening next in your love life. So let's hop right into it. Wow, so pile number five, here's what we have for you guys. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Hermit all upright. So the first things I'm getting from this pile is this person is such, and I mean such, a giver in love. Wow, so yeah, the Six of Pentacles is someone who they enjoy giving. And the Queen of Pentacles is someone who also enjoys giving. There's someone who really wants to provide for you. They want to be that like homebody for you. They probably will very much enjoy cooking you meals. I'm getting that super loud and clear. They enjoy cooking for you. They want those romantic dinners and things like that. They really enjoy good food. This person enjoys that, okay? Um, and then we do also have the Page of Pentacles. This person is very much, they want that commitment. And I think this person's quite traditional with their love life and their commitment. I also wanna say I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself right now. Um, these first five cards right here indicate who this person is. Our next few cards indicate the type of relationship that it's going to be. So yes, talking about this, this person is such a giver. This is who they are. And they're very giving in love and romance. That Ace of Cups, they have, their emotions are there to be given to you. <laughs> this type of person is absolutely like, I want to please other people. I want to, you know, do things, surprise other people. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely getting that like sort of cooking vibe going on. And I definitely get this traditional sense where this person's wanting like traditional commitment, traditional relationship. They also are probably pretty slow moving in relationships as well since we do have the pentacles coming up. Usually they are a little bit more slow in relationships. They're not somebody who's like, after like three months, they're gonna be like, move in with me. This is not that person. This type of person is like, okay, it's been like a year and a half, maybe we can talk about it. It's been two years, let's talk about it. You know, They're definitely a bit of a slow mover. We also have the hermit, so this person is definitely a little bit more, they like to fly solo a little bit because they really want someone who appreciates what they have to give and the love that they have to give. They don't just give it willy-nilly to anyone. They give it to people who are very special and important to them. This person really takes into account who is special, who is important, and those are the people that will get my love. Nothing more, nothing less. Those are the people that will get it, okay? 
So that is who this type of person is. Um, also with the Hermit, I'm definitely getting this vibe that they, they enjoy their alone time and I don't think they have like so many friends. They are definitely a few and far between type of person um, and they do enjoy romance, Ace of Cups. They definitely enjoy romance, but they enjoy a little bit more of a mature romance is what I'm kind of picking up over here. Um, they do have a lot of emotion to give with the Ace of Cups, but the fact that it's surrounded by all these pentacle cards, they enjoy it in a little bit more of a traditional sense, but they want something that's very solid and reliable, and they offer a lot of security as well in the relationship. They probably make you feel very safe and very comfortable. So with that being said, let's go on to our next few cards. This is going to talk about what your guys' relationship is going to be like together. Oh my goodness. We have Queen of Crystals and Queen of Pentacles. Those are the exact, exact same cards, in fact, because the crystals are just another word for pentacles. So the fact that we have that coming up twice, your guys' relationship is definitely going to be more of a traditional vibe um, where it's like, yep, we're committed, boyfriend, girlfriend, this is us, da-da-da-da-da, traditional values, stuff like that. We also have the Knight of Crystals. <laughs> wow, you cannot make this up, you guys. We have, this person's probably going to be a um, earth sign, most likely, which is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, because we have so many earth signs coming up. Look at this. Look at our next few cards. It's all just crystals. We have pentacles, 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 pentacles. All of the actual like um, minor arcana cards that we have, because I don't really count. Ace is a minor arcana card, but it's not really like a... Yeah. We just have crystals and then fucking major, sorry, excuse my language. Then we have a major arcana card. I'm just like, tarot, it just doesn't lie, guys. It's just like, this is so on point. These are two different decks and they all are just like all these crystal cards for pile number five. So that's, uh, it's just so funny. Anyway, anyway, back to the reading. <sighs> Breathe. Okay, so all of these crystal cards, all the pentacle cards talk about somebody who's most likely gonna be an earth sign. They're definitely slow moving. The fact that we get Page of Crystals twice, too. Oh, guys, I'm just, I can't believe it. So, yeah, this person's a hard worker. They're very dedicated. They don't mind doing the nitty-gritty hard stuff. They are dedicated. This person is not somebody who quits when the going gets tough. This person is committed. Once they're in something, they are in it. And they want it for a long time. It's very long-lasting. The love that this person has to offer is very long-lasting. It's very secure, and it's very trusting. Okay, it offers a lot of security um, and it's just a really good proper foundation for a relationship. This person knows about the, the toughness and they know how to stick it out. They're not, yeah, they're just not somebody who's very flighty. They're not much of a flighty person. They're definitely a very dedicated person. So yes, Knight of Crystals, they know how to, they know how to take things slow. They know how to take things at the correct pace. They also know how to have fun too, because we do have that page of pentacles. So this person does know how to also have fun, but they also are very mature at the same time. This person is giving me old soul type of vibes. They've been here and done that. They're not somebody who messes around and fools around with like the other stuff that most people do that are their age. This person's quite wise for their age, um, whatever age that they may be. So yeah, this person I think has had to go through some stuff in their life that's made them mature a lot faster and that sort of stuff. And yeah, definitely getting those vibes. Eight of crystals over here. They're definitely a hard worker as well. They're somebody who wants to put in the effort. This person doesn't get tired easily um, with efforts and things like that. This person's definitely one of those people that are like, okay, I've been working all day, da 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 da, but you know, I come home and my my partner wants me to do this and this and this, and then they also need help with this and da 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 da. And this person's like, okay, I got it. Let's hunker down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This person's so dedicated in that way and so committed in that way. So that looks beautiful over there, my loves. So pile number five, my goodness. You guys got yourself a rock in your next relationship. We also have the staff over here. We also have the globe. We also have the star. Ooh, what powerful cards to have as our next one. So this, the staff is this sort of like magical, I see it as like the Gandalf staff to be totally honest with you. So this person is probably going to be somebody who's quite different than anything else that you've ever experienced. This person is just like such a magical person to have come into your life because I think it's rare to meet people that are like so dedicated and so here for you and so loving and giving and that's what I'm really getting from this person. They're such a solid rock, honestly. So it's gonna feel like like this you you've attained this magic, like, oh, like you're so perfect, da 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 da. 
you know, and this person's okay with waiting. This person's okay with, you know, they're not, they're not leaving anytime soon. It doesn't matter how much you bore them. They're, they're here to work on it. They're here to do things, okay? Also, staff reminds me of the Ace of Wands a little bit, I do want to say, actually. And the Ace of Wands talks about this beautiful attraction as well, um, and also a really good bedroom life, if you know what I mean. So, um, And then we also have the globe over here. So this person's probably um, well-rounded. When we have the globe, this person's probably someone who's interested in different cultures. They could even be a different culture than you when we have globe coming up. So that uh, could be a factor as well. This person might have a lot to share because of that and a, a lot to know. And this person, I think, is also, they like to know things. They like to learn. They like to know things. That's why we got that globe over here. There's someone who wants to know more about the world. They're probably somebody who is also interested in traveling as well. Okay. And then with the star, ooh, so there's some more like magical stuff happening right here. This is like, it could also be saying that their star sign is definitely gonna be Earth. <laughs> that could also be another thing that star is coming up right now. But this also makes me think this, this person's a dreamer. They like to dream about things and think about things. They're a deep thinker as well, because star talks about your thoughts, things that are above, da 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 da. That's all about the thinking and the mind. This person is a very well rounded, smart mind. Okay, and this person can be spontaneous at times if they want to be. They can be spontaneous with that one staff card right there. They can be, uh, but they're more of a dedicated slow mover, but they can definitely still be fun and exciting and they like to travel, da 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 da, -da all those things. <laughs> so with that being said, let's go ahead and shuffle our animal cards right here. This is gonna tell us a little bit more about who this person is and the type of relationship that you two are probably going to have together. So let's see. So pile five. Oh, you guys found the unicorn. If you guys have watched that video on YouTube, that's like, um, it talks about the unicorn. It's, it's that video about uh, like different, like dating different females or something. And I think there's a male one too. And it's like, oh, if you find the unicorn, keep it, capture it. We must study it and learn how to replicate it. Like that video. Some of you guys will know what I'm talking about. Some of you guys will be like, what? <laughs> but I highly recommend trying to find it. It's so funny. It's this graph about dating basically. Um, and unicorns, so the unicorn just reminded me of that because this person reminds me of that unicorn that you find where it's like, okay, this person is, oh yeah, it's the scale of attractiveness versus um, crazy. The female scale of attractiveness versus crazy. Um, and then there's unicorns who are like low on the crazy scale, but still super attractive. Anyway, it's this, it's this crazy video. It's just making me think of it right now. Anyway, so unicorns are like the breed that you want to capture and replicate it because they're such a good catch. So this definitely is a relationship where it's gonna be such a good catch for both of you that it's like, it's a unicorn relationship, it's magical. And it's interesting because the staff right here talks about magic and also the star that we have that came up is also about magic. And then unicorns are about magic as well. So this is very much fantasy, getting some fantasy vibes over here. A relationship that's quite magical. It's quite something that you really want to hold on to and keep. Okay, so let's see what else we get. We also have Stingray coming up over here. So Stingray is making me think that this person is going to be pretty protective over you. They don't take no ish. They don't put up with people bad talking about you or anything like that. This person knows how to bite when they have to. Also, my stomach just made the weirdest noise. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but that was like, ooh. Okay, so let's try to get one more card over here with our animal cards. Perfect, we have a fallout right now. We have otters, so this person's looking for their soulmate. They're a rock. If you know about otters and how they swim together in ponds, they just like love each other and they're like dedicated to each other and it's so cute. So yeah, this person wants that cute relationship where they're with you, they can take you everywhere, they can just be with you. And yeah, it's like, they wanna be holding your hand all the time, things like that. It's like otter relationships. If you think about the way that otters act in a relationship, that's quite similar to you guys. And it's just very cute, very loving, very soulmate sort of energy. So that is what I'm seeing right there. We're also going to take our Astro Dice and see any last info that we get on this reading for you guys. So let's see. Also, I just realized that these dice match my flowers and that's just amazing. <laughs> the eucalyptus, the whatever blue flower that is, whatever purple, I don't know. But anyway, we got the second house, which is ruled by Taurus. We have Leo over here and we have Uranus, which is ruled by Aquarius. This person, this is quite of a different relationship. You two want to be each other's like, like spotlight basically, because Leo is kind of like that spotlight. The second house is very like comfort. Um, whenever I think about Taurus and they, they sort of remind me a little bit more of the, um, 
home life sort of like earth signs. Um, and so when I'm looking at this, I'm getting the fact that since it's a two, this is talking about kind of a bit of the partnership as well. And Leo is about being each other's spotlight. So being there for each other, being each other's spotlight. Uranus is also like, oh, you two are definitely going to be interested in, um, like the complexities of the world. I think that you two are very interested in learning about new things that are happening, new things that are coming out, worldly events and things like that. So Uranus, it's just like an information thing where you guys are interested in different sort of things. And I think that you two offer different things in the relationship. And also with Uranus, this can also talk about like the um, worldly energy of you two might come from different cultures and different backgrounds. And that's what I mean by that you two bring something sort of like different to the table. Um, Cause I'm definitely getting that there might be a cultural difference between you two in this, um, in this certain pile. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Pile number five. It's also interesting. You chose pile number five, which is very like Uranian in my opinion. Um, because it deals with all that like different sort of change and offering different sort of backgrounds and coming from different sort of cultures and things like that. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Pile number five, number five says it as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if you two are from different cultures and that's what I'm seeing here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button down below. If you guys want to see more videos like this and if so, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.